Hey, this is Alex from More Bone Soup coming at you live from Old Mission Peninsula. Today I'm going to show you how to make bone soup from beautiful veal bones we got at our local meat market. So if you guys don't know, your body is made up of one-third collagen, especially, you know, ligaments, tendons, and cartilage. And these bones that we cook with are densely packed full of lots of collagen. So what that's going to do is it's going to go through your body and into your joints and it's really going to help you to heal your injuries. Hi everybody! So I'm going to show you how to make bone soup today. First step is optional. Um, you're going to take your bones from the meat market. We have veal bones as Alex said. And you're going to put them in a pot, roasting pot. And you're going to put these into the oven with a little bit of oil, olive oil on 325 for about an hour and a half to let them brown. And this will really bring out the flavor. If you don't choose to do this, you can just put them into the crock pot, which I'll show you later. Looking pretty good. Next step is to put these bones into a crock pot. Ooh. Perfect. We've got some great meat markets up here in Traverse City. That's for sure. All right. Now we are going to fill the crock pot. So the water is covering the bones. Okay. And if you don't brown the bones first, you want to use cold water for the frozen bones. So to make it a little more acidic, you want to put some red wine, just a splash of red wine, into the soup. That's good. Organic. <laughs> and turn it on to low. And now we wait. You're going to want to cook your bone soup for about 36 to 72 hours on low or keep warm. Every so often you want to skim out um, the stuff that comes to the top. I'll show you that soon. Alright, so it's been about seven hours and um, the bones have been cooking on low. Every seven or six or, I don't know, eight or nine hours, you want to skim off the, uh, the bad stuff. <laughs> it's pretty gross, but it has to be done. And this is a great tool right here. Just skim off what comes to the top, and you'll be good. Do that every six hours or so, or 12 when you're sleeping. Hi. So, the bones have been cooking for about 40 hours now in the crock pot. It's time to take the bones out and just take the liquid to make the soup. Bones. Okay, 
So now that all the bones are out, I'm going to use this skimmer and skim the rest of the small chunks of bones and get the last uh, chunks out. So I just put everything that was in the crock pot into this uh, soup pot, strained it again, got all the bad stuff out. Come closer, you can see it's just uh, pure bone soup right now. All the vegetables are chopped, now it's time to put them all together. Add them all in. You can use whatever other vegetables you'd like, too. It doesn't have to be these vegetables. Carrots and potatoes. Let's go potatoes. <laughs> Making a mess. Yo, now we're gonna add the beef stew meat to the soup. Just uh, some nice beef stew meat. Just put it in there like so. You're good to go. And that's it. And the final steps are to add the spices. I'm going to add a couple bay leaves. These really bring out a lot of flavor. Don't eat them though. Just put them in there. Salt and pepper. Sea salt. And turn it on medium heat for about two hours until the meat is cooked and the vegetables are tender. Then you're ready to go. Man, that's good stuff. <laughs> there it is, the recipe for the healing bone soup. Facebook slash bone soup. Check it out.